Three weeks after Hurricane Maria's devastation and Puerto Rico is still reeling. After its landfall, Maria took 45 lives. The island is in desperate need of clean water, food and medical assistance. Reporter Jimmy Lee shows us how our community is working to help. Day in and day out, they've been busy collecting. There's only so much that we can do to be able to help. For 16 days straight, volunteers like Tony Rosario and Lila Luna have been gathering, packing and shipping supplies. We're looking for different channels of distribution. So not only by sea uh, initially, but by air. And we're trying to hit different ports, not just main San Juan area. These are the pictures of the devastation taken by family members stuck in Puerto Rico. I spoke with my sister this past weekend. She mentioned um, that they get water, but the water is dirty, so they're unable to drink it. With cell service going in and out, Lila will sometimes go days without hearing from her mother and sister. Unfortunately, right now, it uh, seems like she just lost signal again. It's really sad and overwhelming to not hear from your family members in such a long period of time. Tony still hasn't heard from some of his family since the hurricane hit. I'm talking about brothers, cousins, aunts and uncles, you know, nephews that I still haven't heard from. Feeling helpless from afar, the only thing they can do is continue to pack, pray, and send messages of hope. Mucha fuerza. Be strong. And this particular group has been working with organizations and businesses all across Hampton Roads. They tell, they tell me they've sent about 12 large containers full of supplies to Puerto Rico so far. And this Friday, they plan to take another load up to New York, where the shipment and distribution process has been much easier. Jamie Lee, 13 News Now.